Sue here from Sue's Dog Rock Life Garden today and it's April the 21st on a Wednesday and it is about 10 past 7 in the evening and I've just decided to come out <coughs> because I haven't been out well I have been out here I came out this morning done a couple of bits did end up going out for lunch in a really nice hotel stroke restaurant place on the with its own lake. The reason why I want to do this video today is because I just want to show you the progression of the polytunnel before all the tulips go over. Because you know the massive tulips, the frilly ones, they're all starting to go over now. And um, the sort of dinosaur type ones at the other end, they're definitely going over. Well, they're all starting to go over now. So I thought I'd just better show you what's happening. Well, I just done some seeds outside today for the first time ever I've actually planted some seeds straight into the bed I'll show you the bed that I cleared the other day so I've cleared two of the beds outside now so they're ready to go so with one of the beds I'm gonna sow seeds in it the other bed is for uh, moving on I don't know why I've grown so much cow I was only supposed to grow a few seeds for ornamental purposes in the garden. Ended up, they've all grown. So I've got all this kale, which I'll have to give to my friend because I think she likes kale. But I'm really not that fond of it. <laughs> and the only reason why I grew it was because I wanted it for the structure. Mainly this dark one here. Um, so anyway, so I'm, I'm growing kale for some strange reason. I do not know why. <laughs> and I want to look at these pots of these onions because they seem to be getting tall now. I'm not sure when if I should put them in the garden yet. Um, I've got to clear a couple of more. Cut out. I do not know why. Anyway, let's quick do a quick tour of the polytunnel. So as you can see, all these massive beautiful poppies, poppies, tulips are all starting to go over now, look. Uh, but there are these beauties. Look at that. And they're all of these. These ones are sort of closed up. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? I just wanted to show you these beautiful tulips and my geraniums. I'm gonna take some cuttings off these because I tried to do some by seed this year, but they don't seem to have worked. So I'm not sure if I want to buy another packet of seed and do them again. I might have a go if I can remember to order them. So anyway, what I've done with these beans, so there's four bean plants in there, and I've decided to leave them in the pot. 
and I've put these the sticks round and just put some um, string round. The annoying, there's a sheep that's got out, a lady got out across the road and she's just sodded off and left her baby and they continuously whinge at each other all day. So she can get back in, but for some reason she wants her baby to come out on the really dangerous road. Not very good parenting skills, that's all I can say. She's the only one. Sorry, I had to tell you that, because in the background I can hear all this barring. So in this corner here, we've got some purple sprouting broccoli. All these potatoes, I don't know if they're actually going to have any potatoes on them, but I'm leaving them at the moment, because amongst here are some onions that I put in. Um, these are my onions from seed. These ones are from sets. These were the sort of crappy ones. So I was just going to eat the tops actually. It's from seed, which seemed to be growing good. I got rid of some because some of them were dead. So I took out all the ones that weren't working. I might sow some more of the shallots. Um, again, I found some, so I think I will. These things in here are huge. So these red cabbage. These are actually cauliflowers, plants. I don't know what's going on with them. Can't see any evidence of cauliflower whatsoever. <laughs> These are my perpetual spinach. Look at this now. Look how big it's got since the last time I showed you. And in here, all the rocket that I sowed, so all these things that are germinated, they're all rocket. All these radish are getting growing really well in here now. Um, yeah, see the black Tuscan cow there on the table? It's huge. Oh, and I've got loads of it. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, I didn't really want to grow cow. I only wanted to grow a couple. Anyway. Oh, so I have actually put some more shallots in. Direct sown them in there the other day on the sixth by the looks of it. So I did put a row of shallots at the back there. They haven't germinated yet. All these marigolds are growing well. Yeah, I cleared out this bed so I could put them in. These hanging baskets are doing well, look. So I haven't redone these hanging baskets. So those were like this from last year. And they're all starting to grow back again with all the stuff that's inside them. Look, they, they look pretty. The lobelia's coming back now. It's all growing. I'm not having to do much. Anyway, oh yeah, I potted on all these um, lavender the other day. And these actually all have roots on. So I potted them all on. So we're going to have more lavender to replace the lavender I killed. Anyway, I potted on some tomatoes. The ones I had indoors. So these were all the ones I had indoors. And these are called... That's definitely not Tuscany salad. Hold on. These are called Pomodoro. These are the little cherry tomatoes. But I started these all off indoors and they're growing massive now. These cuttings that I took are all growing. Yeah, I think this one's actually growing. I think I was hoping this one would grow. I hope it is. I hope it's getting some roots on it. It's, the leaves aren't coming off. So hopefully it's, it's rooted itself. Here we go. Here's some more. This is another red um, cow called Sympathic. And then all my broccoli rub is still flowering, got flowers on. I keep picking it off and we're just eating it. But I don't know. I'm just going to pop them in the garden tomorrow. Oh, look at my turnips. They've all come up. I've only just noticed that. So I planted these on the 14th. They're all come up. These cornflowers. Two lots of those, I think. Hold on. That's a classic cornflower. And this is a, um, whatever that says. I don't know. I can't read it. I haven't got my glasses on. So whatever. That is also germinated. And down here we all have a salad. Look at this salad that I planted. That's all growing. Better hurry up and eat more salad. Oh, I wanted to show you my little, um, asparaguses that are grown. Look, there's one, and there's two. So they both grew from here, from this, which I bought in being cute. Well, I've got some more marigolds in there. There's some more. I keep trimming up the leaves on these radish, and they are the cabbage savoy back there. 
Yeah, they're all getting big. Um, all this stuff's starting to germinate. This rose has grown loads. That's what I need to do. I need to order a really big pot for this rose. This is the one I got for my birthday last year. I gave it some blood, fish and bone. It's up. Where is it up to? It's past my waist. It's grown tons. Anyway, all the fruit trees are doing all right. I put one of the red delicious apple tree that I've got next to my other apple tree that I've got growing in the garden. I thought it might help the two of them being together. So I've left it in the pot and I've just put it over there. Um, yeah, all these, these broccoli are growing. I took off all the heads the other day. I've got them indoors. We're going to have them for dinner tomorrow. Um, this broccoli rub. Yeah, I've been taking the heads off that too. And we're eating it. And then over here, as you can see, the morning glory are starting to germinate. These are beautiful. And as I said before, I'm going to grow them outside along the fence. And then we have our cauliflowers. They're doing well. Our Californian poppies. These peas are starting to come up now. These, whatever... What are they? Oh, the French sorrel that I planted isn't growing yet. These aren't growing yet, but I'm sure they will start in a couple of days. And these ones aren't growing yet. They'll probably come up soon. This tree's starting to grow. Uh, it's just a quick tour. Oh my God, look at the oxide daisies. They are massive now. Tomorrow's mission dig up these oxide daisies and put them in the garden before they start getting too big right I still want to know what these are I think they're a kind of allium yeah I do think they are and this is the blueberry I think it's growing good see these ones are going over a lot quicker than the other ones look they're all starting to collapse Strawberries are growing. They're really growing now. Look. Look at them. My chives are growing. There's some garlic at the back. Oh, that's growing. Look at the strawberries though. They've actually got flowers on. Well, loads of them have got flowers on. And I've got marigolds back here. Look. Flowers on the strawberries. That's brilliant. So now... I noticed my nasturtium just started to come up. I planted these a little while ago, 15th of the 4th or whenever. This rocket here is growing really well. Look at that. That's the rocket. Um, yeah, so I'm doing succession, succession sowings of stuff. All the perpetual spinach here. Look at these peas. These are sweet peas. These ones, look at them. And there's a couple of, um, what do you call it? Oh, the other peas, they're different because look, these are the leaves on the um, sugar snap peas and these are the leaves on the sweet peas. They're a lot more hard. Like the stems on these are a lot harder. These are a lot softer. So there's a big difference between the sweet peas and standard peas. Whereas down here, these are all more delicate peas because these are all eating peas. So you can see there's a huge difference between them now. So I'm just going to keep growing peas, as I said. Um, under here, yeah, this lavender's picked up since I gave it a bit of food. And there's loads more nasturtiums. There's more nasturtiums coming up here and here. And what I'm going to do with these nasturtiums, they're not all put inside the polytunnel because otherwise they would completely take over. There's some more rocket there growing well. The watercress back there, look. <laughs> they're growing so good. And then there's an asparagus in here somewhere. I don't know if that one's going to grow. I can't see it. Anyway, all these... Um, Nasturtiums, I'm going to lift some of them and move them into the garden onto my rockery over the other side. I'm going to put some in there because I've got a load more seeds. I did do a load more seeds. 
And in here we've got our tomatoes. So these are all the ones that I had indoors as well. And I potted them all on. These are a plum tomato. Uh, here's some unknowns. They're growing. These are all growing at the back. So the Cosmos, the sweet peas, cauliflowers and the French beans. The French beans are going to have to be moved on very soon. Um, the snapdragons are really growing. The coriander is still growing. Courgette, don't seem to have much germination there. There's one. The savoy cabbage, there's not much germination there, but there are a few. These haven't germinated yet. These peppers, uh, these asters haven't. Um, that is uh, something. Um, these verbena, they're growing. Look at this Tuscany salad that I sowed the other day. <laughs> So this Tuscany salad is for us to eat the tops of. So it's going to be like just cut and come again salad, that one. That isn't going to be potted on because I've got salad already in the garden. Um, here's some more peas. We need to start eating the shoots of these. So we might just eat these for pea shoots. They're lovely. I love pea shoots. These tomatoes are all growing now. Look at that. So these are a nice tomato. We've got two different varieties of tomato in here. I won't bother to go through them today. I think I've done them in another video. All the daisies, the Livingston daisies are growing. Everything's growing. This is growing, this French bean. This coleus, I'm not sure if that is a coleus or not. I don't know if any others are growing. Candy tuft, germinated wildflower poppies more nasturtiums they just needed a bit more heat now they're starting to come up we've got some greyhound cabbage some leeks they're growing the jappy little baby boo the pumpkins aren't ready yet they're not growing yet they're not ready they're not going not yet they're they're come we don't really want them to come yet because i've got so much stuff to put on now the first mission for the day is to put some of these peas in um, I'm not sure where I'm gonna put them I might just put a line down here just along to here just put a couple in there because you can just tie them up onto these see so I might just put a couple in there and I might just put a couple in this bit as well I might just put a couple in here and here here and here and tie them up to here okay so we might just do that just dot the peas around everywhere um yeah i've got tons of peas but this this tomorrow i don't care if it's raining i've got to do this i'm going to dig up these make some room over the other side of the garden dig up these oxide daisies i must do this tomorrow because I now need this side of the garden for the French beans because the French beans I've now decided are going down this side because over this side I have other beans um, oh, dwarf beans I think, I don't know, I can't remember now but they're a different beans so I think these are French beans but I think the others on the table they're the French purple bean and these are dwarf French beans See? Oh, I think we've got a label. No, that is for something else. Well, some of them have got nibbled, look. I've got to put some more beer traps out. This salad is doing well. But here are the dwarf French beans I put in the other day. I put in a few. This one's got nibbled. <laughs> and this one. <laughs> And then there's that one. They take a while to get going, but once they get going, they're all right. Oh, that's what I've got in here. I just remembered what these labels are for. Yes, along the front, the front of the French beans, I've planted some of this salad. So there's that, all the way along the front. There's a, there's a woodpecker. Got them outside by the house bought a couple of topiary bushes yesterday or the other day when we went to B&Q 
we went to B and Q on Bank Holiday Monday, and we went late in the evening, and there was nobody there, and we stayed until eight o'clock. It was wonderful. Look at my celery. This celery is this is the one that I've grown for. Oh no, these are parsnips. <laughs> These aren't celery. They remind me of celery. They look the same. Oh, these are growing now, look. And I've got to get this plant in. This forsythia has got to get in the garden tomorrow. I've got a lot of things to put in the garden. I've got to move them on. As well as these um, primroses. Evening primrose. And I'm going to put all of these celeries into some bigger pots now. Let me just show you. Oh, see these things. I've put all these things in here. I do do really weird things, by the way. These were in a bunch of flowers that my son bought me for Mother's Day. Really unusual sort of structures. So what I've done is I've just bunged them in here. They probably won't grow. But you never know. I've done that before with things that I've got from... I mean, I've done that with the succulent plant. It was in a bunch of flowers on a stick. And I planted it, and now I've got two succulents. So sometimes when you get these bunches of flowers, you can just take out some of the woody stuff, and it will grow. Anyway, let me just show you. So I've tidied up all this now. I don't know if I've shown you this since I tidied it up. So I've weeded it all. Everything's weeded. Look at this. Isn't this pretty? So all the fruit bushes are looking beautiful. Looking beautiful. Look. I'm going to go round them all and give them some blood, fish and bone. Look at my daffodils that I put in, put in there. Look at these. Oh, and over on the other side of the garden, on the ground, we've got a load of fever few that grows just in the gravel. And I thought it would really like it in here because this is really well draining soil. It's got loads of stones in it. And look, they've all taken, every single one that I've put in here is taken. So I'm going to get some more tomorrow and put, put a couple more at the back on that side. And I might put some at the back there because I don't want to throw them away. They're beautiful. I love the flowers on these, yellow and white, really sort of double daisy type flowers. And they're really pretty and they're very good for you. Good for you if you get a fever, which is why they're called fever few. So this bed, I haven't actually put anything in this one yet. So that's just waiting. So this one's going to have in it the um, stuff that's already grown. Whereas this one, which I just cleared the other day, the day before yesterday, I've cleared it all out. I took out as many stones as I could. And down the bottom here, I have started sowing rows of seeds. So my first two rows are two different kinds of parsnips. So we've got Contessa in the first row. And we got gladiator in the second row. And what I've done is dug a really sort of deep trough, filled it with this multi-purpose compost that I got from B and Q, and then put a layer of the compost over the top, and then pushed back the soil because the soil's got quite a lot of so stones in it. But now the roots will go into nice compost, and then hopefully we'll see what happens. So that's that. So once these start growing. I will cover them up, but at the moment I'm not going to do it. But I am actually going to sow some stuff all in this bed. All in this bed. I've got, I'm going to have flowers and vegetables all growing in this bed. So that's what I'm going to do, because that's what I want to do. These things are all in here. Still need to all be taken out. These are all my hedging plants and this wild mallow which I planted in here, because there is no wild mallow in this part of the world. And I love it. It's got lovely purple flowers with sort of stripes on them. And then over there, see over here, look at these pretty things. I can't remember what these are called. But look, so these are all, all growing along here. And they're really pretty. I love these. They're lovely. I don't even know what they are. And then along this hedge with our lovely holly we got here, I've got my rose here. I probably need to drink. I hope it's not latching onto the tree too much. Yeah, it 
seems to be trying to latch onto the tree now. See this tree that this is a perpetual perpetually yours this rose. And what I want to do, I want to um, put it in a much, much bigger pot and I want to grow it going up this tree. Look at that. It's already doing it. I'm not doing nothing. I just lent it there because it needed to have some support because it's a climbing rose. So all these roses, I'm going to keep one of these for Anu's memorial uh, bed that I'm making. So one of these roses is going to go there. Not sure which one yet. Not sure. Anyway, one of those. And, oh, look at these tiny... Oh, I bought these. We got these from B&Q when we went the other day. So I've got some lovely variegated thyme. A couple of um, rosemaries, which I'm going to take cuttings off before I plant them out. These lilies, there's three in that pot, so I'm going to break that up. And this wonderful curry plant. And I want to see if there's more than one in there. Yes, I think there might be. If not, it's okay if there's just one. I can take cuttings from it and make more plants, but I'm definitely taking cuttings off the rosemary. Look at that beautiful lily. So, they're all going in the garden, along with... Uh, not the camellia. The camellia is going to go in a pot. These two are going to go in the garden. And this one, this dogwood, and also the um, plant around the back. There's some tulips there. Not looking as good as the ones indoors. It's a bit harsher outside. And look at these anemones. I think that's what they're called. They go to sleep at night. I put these in here. I did plant a load of bulbs down here. But none of them came up. I think the birds got them out. I planted a load of crocuses in the autumn. I was just clearing it a bit. But I think the... Uh... Oh, the little birdies dug them up. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Win some, lose some. There's some nice forget-me-nots there. They're starting to come up now. The ones are planted. They're growing. Ah, oh, see that there? Hold on. Our um, gate has slipped a bit. Hmm, these here. Yeah, these. These. Burgundy glow. Don't know where these are. Don't know where they gone. I'm just hoping they appear. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. There's some forget-me-nots in there. I haven't done that bed yet. They, still they need to come out of them pots. They're really pot-bound. Poor things. Well, I need to get them in the garden. I need to sort out that back bit there. This was for Anu, this bit. To stop him from going into that part of the garden, but it doesn't matter now. Is it? He's not here no more. Anyway, quick look over here. Look at these, these are pretty. These plants here, these are all coming out. I did manage to tidy up all of the top bit the other day. I'll just show you. I think Tweetle Pies are still out. <laughs> I think she is. And on here is all the fever few. See, it's all growing everywhere. I think I bought one plant of it once. And it's seeded itself and it goes everywhere. But look, it's all in here. But it's really easy to pull it out. Look, it's there. I need to pull them ones out. All around there. So I'm going to pull them all out. And I'm going to plant them all in the garden. And then what I might do is move some to where my daffodils and primroses are. Because once they go over, there won't be nothing in that bed. There won't be nothing. So, what I might do... Well, I'm not going to lift anything. I'm not lifting none of the plants out. But look here. See where my daffodils are? These are starting to grow. These are all the ones I transplanted. 
All these plants are all starting to grow now. But look, if you look here, see all my primroses? All the primroses and the daffodils are starting to die off now. So what I think I might do is try and make more of a gap. I'll put some of the fever few in here because that would look lovely down here. And if you deadhead it, it will keep going all summer. Because these primulas, primroses, will die off. So there won't be nothing in this bed. And I need something that's going to... No little flowers talking to me. Just keeps going. I just need something to keep going. And it's quite hardy because, um, you know, if it doesn't rain for a few days, it's got to, it's got to but, you know, be able to cope. Like all these are, they're coping. Anyway, so that's my plan. So I'm going to put some of the fever few in there. And we're going to have them in square boxes and then I can plant some pretty flowers around the edges. So they look pretty. They look really nice with these lights. But they need to be in a much bigger structure. But look, they're easy to keep going, so I bought them. I bought them like this. And then you just trim them up. They're very easy. I've got some tulips here. Brought some up. Them ones are doing all right, they're a bit later. They're still going. Anyway, I'll just turn the camera around and say goodbye. And that's the tour for today. Here at the dog well, I hope you enjoyed the tour today around the garden and in the polytunnel. Um, yeah, so that's it really. Um, so thank you for watching. Please give me a like and a thumbs up. Tell your friends and family about my channel and I hope. I just hope you enjoy it and if you don't never mind but i enjoy doing it so that's all that matters really because <laughs> i enjoy doing it anyway thank you for watching i'll see you again soon in the next video bye for now bye